Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T, man, and we are doing our first case review of 2019. I realized I have not done a case review in a very long time, so let's go ahead and change that, man. Let's go ahead and get into some of my favorite cases. Huge shout out for Nomad to drop me these cases to review. So we're rocking with the Nomad leather lineup. Now, I don't have the carbon case. If you're not sure what the carbon case is, I will link that review for the iPhone XR, but we are rocking with just leather today. So we got the Rugged Folio. We have the Rugged, which is one of my favorite cases, and we also have the Rugged Tri-Folio. So let's go ahead and put these two aside right now, and let's take a look at the Rugged. Now, as you see, it does have that leather back. You see it says day one and then day 100. So you already know you're going to get that nice wear when we're talking about leather cases. So if that's something you're not really into, then, you know, leather cases may not be your thing. But this is basically how it looks. Read some of the specs down here. Quality leather since 1905, extra tough frame and six feet of drop protection. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Horween leather. You know, you always get that nice Nomad presentation always a nice look so let's go ahead and throw that <laughs> throw that to the side and let's take a look at the case itself so on that inside you do get a very nice felt design you get some of that nomad branding down there flipping over on the back as you can see you get that nice leather material now i know a lot of people you know so you really got to be in leather because it's going to leave marks it's going to leave different things like that but that's what i find unique about leather cases because None of them really look the same. They're all going to have different wear patterns and different things like that. So that's why I really like about leather cases. So on that right side, we do have our power button. Flipping over on the bottom, you have your cutout for your lightning and your speakers. And on your left side, you got volume up, volume down, cutout for your mute toggle switch. And you got that cutout for your camera. So let's go ahead and pop this iPhone XS Max in here. And let's see basically how it looks on the Nomad Rugged. So here it is on the iPhone XS Max. So let's go ahead and take a look at these buttons. So the buttons, pretty nice. I would like for the buttons to be a little bit more, a little bit more pronounced. Even though they do, they are, you know, fairly clickable. I would like for them to be a little bit, a little bit more pronounced to give you a little better click, but it does click fine. And then uh, your volume up and down buttons, pretty nice and tactile, no issues there whatsoever. And flipping it over on the bottom, as you see, you got those ports that are fine as well. And also flipping it over on the bottom, you have that camera cut out. A1. Taking a look at that late on the table protection that you already know I am rocking that white stone dome glass for the 10s Max and one thing about the rugged case even though it says rugged doesn't really offer a lot of lay on the table protection so just be aware if you want to drop this bad boy on the face then you you never know i mean doesn't offer that much lay on table protection but it's something i just want to mention now next how does it actually fit on the phone and that's one thing i really like about the rugged case it actually fits very good no issues whatsoever if you look down here it gives you a little bit of bend down there which is not bad at all because it pops back in place. I use this I use this case for a very long time on my iPhone XR, no issues. And on your top, very stiff. So the fit is A1 when it comes to the Nomad Rugged. And how does it basically feel in your hand? It definitely feels pretty good. That's the reason why I like this case. It does have a nice feeling. You get that leather back and on the sides you do get maybe like a little rubber material. And that really helps with the grip. Doesn't offer bulk at all and it keeps the phone fairly thin i just really really like the rugged case probably easy one of my favorite cases from nomad and bringing the wireless charge over here boom dropping it down on wireless charging it does so this is the nomad rugged for the 10s max next up let's take a look at the rugged folio so you basically have the same rear design as your rugged case but except this one does have a folio flip and if you look at some of the details you also get that same quality leather holds up the six cards and it has a little slot for your cash flipping over in the back once again you get that wear from day one to 100 so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual case boom let's throw that down here and let's take a look and here is the nomad folio rugged so it looks very good man very nice felt material you get that same felt material just like you did in your rugged case you get that cash slot right here and then you get your six card slot so i'm assuming you could put two cards in each slot boom equals up to six you get your same cutouts just like the rugged case you get that raise the power button you get that volume up volume down cut out for your mute toggle switch and all of your ports and everything are nicely cut out on the bottom so let's go ahead and pop the 10s max in here boom and here it is basically on 
the foam. So just like your rugged case, you know, the thing about it is it does have a folio flap and your power button, nice and tactile. Your volume up and down is a little hard to get to since it's really right up against this. So it's a little hard to get to. Maybe that's one little gripe if I have to say any. And you really can't find it from the outside. So if I have to give it a gripe, volume button is just a little bit too close to this seam. Kind of makes it really hard to get in there and alter your volume. So that's one thing. And let's take a look at the ports. All your ports are spot on, no issues whatsoever, and your camera port is just fine. Taking a look at that lay on the table protection, just like the rugged case, will not offer you that much lay on the table, table protection. So, <laughs> got my tongue twisted all up right there. So, if you do drop it, man, please be aware. You just, you just don't know what's gonna happen. The fit is A1, just like the rugged. You get that same nice fit, no issues whatsoever when it comes to the fit. And in the feel of your hand, like I said, it's just like the rugged, except it has this folio. Feels good. Doesn't add too much bulk to your main phone. Now, I don't have any cash readily available, but I got some old hotel room keys. So let's just slide this in here. Let's just boom. We can slide that there. Got a little Starbucks gift card that I need to give somebody because I don't go to Starbucks. So let's just slide that there. So if you want to rock out one day, you really don't want to take your wallet anywhere, you can definitely throw a case like this that has a wallet slot. And if you got some dollar bills, you can slide it up in here. So you can have your cash, your license, a credit card, debit card, whatever you want. Close it up and you are good to go. But another gripe that I really don't care for is they don't have any type of closing mechanism. So therefore, the case is always going to kind of remain like it's open. I would like to have a little strap. If I'm going to have a folio case, I would like to have maybe a little magnetic strap. Just a little something to keep this cover closed. But if I had to have a gripe, that's one thing that I would say. And dropping it down on wireless charging. Boom, it works on wireless charging. So this is the rugged folio. All right, last but not least, we have the rugged tri-folio. So let's look at some of those details. Eight card slots. So you can really, really get a lot of stuff in this. And it also has your two cash slots. Flipping over on the back, uniquely rugged, basically telling you how it's all laid out. But let's go ahead and open it up and let's get into it. And this one is that nice brown color that I love from No Man. I really, really love this brown color. It always gives you a very, very rich looking case it just really looks good with this trifolio so here you see trifolio design you have those card slots here eight card slots so you have four so you put two in each slot and then you also have your case so we're not really going to go over the rugged case this is the same exact case the rugged the, the, the rugged folio it's the same thing no really need to go over that you can do that you can dang on um, put it here and you can put a hotel key boom cool and then you got those card slots and then if you had some cash you know you could throw some cash up in there boom and we can figure out how to close it and also you do have another once again two cash slots so you can close it like that and we see what's the proper way to close it it's kind of weird but this is how it goes it's kind of weird you really don't know which one to close where you know, this, if you had to say it, it will close like this. But once again, it doesn't have a strap or anything to go around it. So you're finding yourself, everything just kind of dangling around. And you got to make sure you actually close it the right way. So you can't do it that way. So you got to close this up and then close this up and then throw this in your pocket all as one design. But really love the case. Really love the quality of Nomad cases. Just really would like to have a little strap or something across here to close the actual phone on and dropping it down on wireless charging. Boom, it does work with wireless charging. So this is the rugged tri-folio from Nomad for the iPhone XS Max. So line them back up, we do have that tri-folio, holds up to eight cards. So if you really wanna go without a wallet, man, definitely check this out. For more of my simple people out here who just like a nice case with a very nice leather design, if you want some a little bit more protection than what the Apple leather case will give you, then definitely, definitely check out the Rugged Man. I really love this case. This is definitely my favorite Nomad case right now. But if you do want a little folio, you can check out just the Rugged, but it just has a little folio attachment. So you can use up to six cards cards and rock out with this one man but i had all the prices in the links i'll put all the links in the description man you already know i'll do all of that definitely hit the like video if you like it comment and definitely definitely hit that subscribe button man if you rock with your boy and i'm gonna catch you on the next one later